We'd like to help you make the most of your talents and your training. And in order to do that, it's key that you understand the route and exactly what you're in for. So let me talk you through the Old Mutual Two Oceans 56 km Ultramarathon route. So the Old Mutual Two Oceans Ultramarathon is very much a backloaded race. And that's the big challenge when you encounter it. So when we look at the profile, what you will see is that all the challenges, Chapman's Peak, Constantia Neck, and then the finish back towards UCT, all come in the second half. So because the two halves of the race are so different, there's really not that much to say about the first long straight section along Main Road. The wind can sometimes be challenging, as can the fact that it's dark and you can't necessarily judge your pace as effectively. So I think the most important thing here is to know exactly what your target is and make sure that you don't go out too fast in this section. Eventually Main Road leads you to the ocean at Musenberg and you can there look forward to great views of the sea, great spectator support and still a great deal of camaraderie because you haven't yet hit the half marathon mark which happens shortly after you get to the seaside town of Fishhook. From there you leave the ocean behind and make your way through Komiki down through Sun Valley and it is here that you have to start getting your mind ready because you're about to encounter the first big hill which is Chapman's Peak. Chapman's Peak is an iconic section of the race and it's also one of the most beautiful sections of road anywhere in the world and so you can feel truly privileged that you're able to see it with thousands of other runners on race day. The hill is not particularly steep and nor is it particularly long but it's followed by some significant challenges and so if you go too fast here you tend to pay for those a little bit later on. Also don't be fooled by the false summit of what is called Little Chappies. You'll get to the top and you'll start a descent only to be ambushed by what is actually the real climb of Chapman's Peak shortly thereafter. The descent from Chapman's Peak down into Hart Bay is one of the most enjoyable and beautiful sections of the race because of the view. The climb of Constantia Neck is challenging and it's steep and it lasts about 3 kilometers. It involves a number of different switchbacks so you don't know necessarily how far you are from the summit. The crowd support when you get to the top of Constantia Neck will more than make up for it as will the fact that you then get quite a long descent down towards Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens where you can hopefully recover and build yourself for the final 5 kilometers of the race. The last 7 or 8 kilometers are quite deceptive because while they are overall downhill there are still some bumps particularly as you go towards Cecilia Forest and then when you move towards the top gate of Kirstenbosch. There are also some incredibly steep descents which on tired legs will hurt and so you have to really control your pace and work hard actually on the descents in those instances but what you can look forward to is amazing crowd support as you go past Kirstenbosch's bottom gate you then make the left hand turn onto the M3 which takes you back towards UCT don't be alarmed there's a small hill which has become known as Chet's Hill it's only a few hundred meters long and as soon as you crest that you're pretty much downhill all the way to the finish line two kilometers to go hang in there Look forward to the stadium announcer welcoming you onto the UCT's field and look to finish strong and hit the targets that you've set for yourself for the race.